how do you acknowledge and discuss different types of uncertainty that patients may feel with regards to genomic testing? This is a really important topic for genomics because there is a lot of uncertainty. Thinking about uncertainty with respect to genomic testing is absolutely crucial and we just need to be really honest and acknowledge the uncertainty that exists around this area. And I think there is no result that doesn't have uncertainty because a negative test result means that we don't have an answer. You know, why has that person developed this thing? What's next? How might we find an answer? Um, and a positive test result, there's often uncertainty about what might happen in the future or, or what the implications are for other family members. We often talk about trading one type of uncertainty for another. First, patients wonder whether their condition is genetic. Then once they've got their genetic test results, and learn that we have found a pathogenic variant, trading for another type of uncertainty, which is wondering how severe will the disease be, or for some conditions, it's not 100% penetrant, meaning that not everyone actually develops the disease. So therefore, they might be wondering, will I get it? What age? And then, of course, thinking about the next generation, will my children have be affected? People bring their own concerns into uh, into a consultation and. Like for any clinical consultation, you have to um, give them an opportunity to express those. Some people are concerned about confidentiality. Um, people have concerns about imp implications on their life insurance. Um, so I think, once again, you have to tailor it to an individual.